Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we'll consider determine and sketch even and odd components of the following signals. So, what are those two signals? We have got two signals x of n and x of t. The first one is discrete time signal, and the second one is continuous time signal. So, how do I sketch uh, even and odd part? For that, we have got the formula. And uh, in this video, what we do is uh, we'll consider only sketching x of n and its even and odd parts. In the next video, we'll consider sketching x of t and sketching its even and odd part. Yes, I said that we have got the formula. So let me write to find the even part of any signal. To find even part of the signal, we have got the formula, which is which can be written as x e of n. Here, x e of n represents the even part. E represents the even part. N is the discrete time. That means it is a discrete time signal. x e of n is equal to 1 divided by 2 into bracket x of n plus x of minus n. So, this is the formula we make use to find the even part x of n is the given signal itself and x of minus n is the mirror image I need to sketch that add them up both and uh, towards the end divide by 2 so that I'm going to get even part the first uh, part is to sketch x of n so let me write that so first we'll uh, sketch x of n once that is done we'll go for x of minus n later we'll add them and divide by 2 so how do I sketch that uh, first, uh, what shall I do is uh, let me get the x-axis and uh, y-axis so that I can sketch the signal. Yes. Here I am going to get uh, right. This is uh, y-axis represents x of n, and here this is the time. So what what values n takes here? It depends on here. So you can see here n varies from minus one to plus three. That means this is minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. It takes 4 discrete uh, values. Uh, not 4, it, it takes 5 values. So how do I sketch this? Uh, that The task is very simple. For n is equal to minus 1. So let me put n equal to minus 1 in the expression of x of n so that I am going to get x of minus 1. So here if I put minus 1 square is nothing but 1 minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 is nothing but minus 1. So this, are, this is the thing I'm going to get. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll sketch uh, the complete signal towards the end. First let me get all the values. Once I put n equal to minus 1, the next signal is going to be uh, at n equal to 0. If I put n equal to 0, it is minus 2 plus 0, it is going to be minus 2 only. x of minus 2 is going to be minus 2. Similarly, if I put n is equal to plus 1, I'm going to get x of 1. So what is x of 1 going to be? It is minus 2 plus 1 square it is nothing but minus 1. Similarly, let me put n is equal to 2. I'm going to get x of 2. So what is this? If I put uh, n equal to 2, it is minus 2 plus 2 square it is nothing but 4. Minus 2 plus 4, I'm going to get as 2. So this is x of 2. Similarly, if I put n is equal to 3, I'm going to get x of 3 which is nothing but minus 2 plus 3 square that means minus 2 plus 9 is nothing but 7 so these are the different values for n ranging from minus 1 to 3 so next task is I need to sketch all these things so let me do that yes at the position minus 1 I got the signal as minus 1 and at the position 0, I got the signal as minus 2. So let me draw that. This is going to be minus 2. And at the position 1, I got the signal as minus 1 again. So let me sketch this. This is minus 1. And at the position 2, I got the signal as 2. So this is going to be 2. And at the position 3, I get the signal as 7. So let me sketch that. So this, I call this as 7. So let me write all the amplitude values. This is minus 1. This is minus 2. This is minus 1 again. And here this is 2. And this is 7. This is how x of n looks like. The next task is to sketch its mirror image. 
सो लेट मी राइट द सेम थिंग टू स्केच एक्स ऑफ माइनस एन टू स्केच एक्स ऑफ माइनस एन How do I sketch x of minus n? Again, let me consider uh, x-axis and y-axis so that I can uh, draw the signal very easily. So let me draw that. Yes, this signal I am calling this as x of minus n with respect to n. When I change n to minus one, the limits would change. Minus one. Would become plus one. Zero remains as it is. These one, two, three would become minus one, minus two, and minus three. This is where the signal exists. To sketch that, you we have to flip this signal along the vertical axis so that I'll get the answer. So let me sketch the same thing at the position zero. I'm going to get the signal as two. It remains same. So this. Uh, the value at minus one comes at the position one, so here it is, and rest at minus one. This is going to be minus one, and at the position minus two, this is going to be two, and at the position three, I'm going to get this as seven. So let me write that so that I'll be very clear. This is minus one, minus two, minus one, two, and seven. The next task is I need to add these two signals and divide by two so that I would get the even and odd uh, even part. The first thing is even part. So let me sketch that signal. Yes. So this signal I'm going to call y-axis as the even part x e of n. With respect to n, so what would be the range of n? I'm adding all these things, so limit would remain from minus three to plus three. So this is minus three, minus two, minus one. This is going to be zero. Here I would get one, two, and three. This is where the signal is going to exist. So what I'm going to get at the position minus three. At the position minus three, I don't have anything here, and this signal is a seven. So ultimately, I'm going to get zero plus seven as seven only. So at the position three, I would draw something like this. So let me just increase the thickness so that it becomes very clear. Yes, at the position three, I'm going to get seven. But is it, is it going to be seven? Ultimately, I have to divide that by two. It becomes seven by two. Or 3.5, so this is the amplitude at the position minus 3. Similarly, at the position minus 2, this is 2, and I don't have anything over there. So therefore, 2 plus 0, I'm going to get 2. And later, I need to divide that by 2 so that I would get the even part. So that is going to be 2 divided by 2. I'm going to get 1. So this is the amplitude. This is how the signal looks like. At the position minus 1, you can see here this is minus 1. This is minus 1. If I add them up, I'm going to get minus 2. And if I divide by 2, I'm going to get minus 1. So this is what I'm going to get at the position minus 1. So this is the signal that I would call it as minus 1. So let me write the amplitude as minus. One. This is how it looks like. At the position zero, this is minus two. This is minus two. I'm going to get minus four, and later I have to divide by two. Therefore, I'm going to get minus two. So let me sketch the same thing at the position zero. At the position zero, I'm going to get minus two as the answer. So let me write this as minus two. So let me write here minus two. Correct. At the position one, so check at the position uh, plus one. This is minus one, and this is minus one. I'm going to get minus two. Later, I have to divide by two. Hence, I'm going to get minus one as the answer. So here, I'm going to get minus one. So that let me indicate this as minus one. Similarly, at the position two. So if this is two. Here, I don't have anything. Two plus zero is two. Divide by two. I'm going to get one. So let me indicate the same thing. I would get this as one, and you indicate the amplitude as well, one. And lastly, at the position three, this is seven. I don't have anything over here. Seven plus 
zero is nothing but seven, and later I need to divide by two. I'm going to get three point five. So I'm going to get here as three point five. So this is the sample, and uh, let me indicate this as three point five. Finally, this is how the even part of the signal x e of n would look like. Is that okay? So I would say that this is the symmetric signal. I mean. This is symmetric about the vertical axis. Whatever the values I have here, the same thing I have at the, the for positive values of e n. Yes. The last task is to get sketch the odd part of the signal. So how do I sketch the odd part of the signal? So first, let me write that to find to find the odd part. To find the odd part, what is the formula? I've got the formula as x o of e n is equal to One divided by two into bracket x of e n plus uh, sorry this is minus x of minus e n. So if I if I consider the uh, formula for even part earlier it was plus now it has become, become minus. So x of e n and x of minus e n are there. I need to subtract these two signals now. So how do I subtract that? Uh, first I have to subtract and later I need to divide by two so that I am going to get. the odd part so first let me sketch the x axis and y axis and uh, let me indicate this as x o of e n and this is with respect to n the ranges i'm going to get as minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and here this is 0 here i'm going to get 1 2 and 3 yes let me consider these two signals i need to subtract these two signals how do i start with i would start from the extreme left so here this signal is 0 at the position minus 3 i'm talking about this signal is 0 and this signal is 7 0 minus 7 is nothing but minus 7 but later i need to divide by 2 so that i'm going to get minus 7 by 2 or it is minus 3.5 is the signal that i'm going to get at the position minus 3 so let me indicate that so this signal i would indicate it as minus 3.5 at the position minus 3 similarly check at the position minus 2 at the position minus 2 here i don't have anything this is 0 and here it is 2 0 minus 2 i'm going to get minus 2 and i have to divide by 2 and hence i would get minus 1 so let me indicate the same thing so here at the position minus 2 i'm going to get the sample as minus 1 so let me write it Yes. Similarly, check at the position minus one. At the position minus one, this signal is minus one, and this signal is minus one. Minus one, minus of minus one is going to be plus one. Uh, both would get zero. Minus one plus one is going to be zero. So I would indicate zero at the position minus one. Similarly, let me check at the position zero. At the position zero, this signal is minus two, and this signal is minus two. Minus two, minus of minus two, which is plus two. I mean. Minus two plus two is going to be zero again at the position zero. I hope uh, you all are getting it. Similarly, check at the position one. At the position one, this signal is minus one and this signal is minus one. Again, I'm subtracting and hence I'm going to get zero at position one as well. Let me check what I'm going to get at the position two. At the position two, the amplitude is two. Here I don't have anything. Two minus zero is nothing but two. Later I need to divide it by two. Therefore I'm going to get one as the answer. At the position two, I would get one as the sample. Similarly, check at the position three. At the position three, this is seven, and here it is zero. Zero, uh, sorry, seven minus zero. I'm going to get seven, and later I need to divide it by two, and I'm going to get that as three point five. So let me indicate this sample with the amplitude three point five. So this is the odd part of the signal. I would say this is anti-symmetric about the vertical axis. You can check that whatever the values are over here, they become positive one once you go on to positive side of n. Yes, finally, this is how the even part of the signal x e of n would look, and this is how the odd part of the signal x o of n would look like. And uh, I'll consider. Uh, x of t sketching the signal and its even and odd part in the next video till then thank you very much